predicting Mr. Beast's next move is quite the challenge. From torturing himself to splurging millions of dollars, it seems like there's no limit to his insanity. However, we can try to make our best guesses about what he will do in the future according to dozens of podcasts and interviews. As of today in 2024, the race between Mr. Beast and Music Channel T-Series is well underway. Jimmy is expected to overtake T-Series in the summer of this year as the most subscribed channel ever, successfully achieving what PewDiePie couldn't back in 2019. A couple months later at the end of this year, Mr. Beast will launch the world's largest game show in history on Prime Video. There will be a cash prize of at least $5 million, which is even larger than the prize for Squid Game. But before you go and sign up, winning will not be an easy task, as a thousand contestants are expected to compete on the biggest sets that television has ever seen. And just as a cherry on top, he will fly down hundreds of celebrities for the final episode. To finish off this busy year, Mr. Beast may announce a sequel to Team Trees and Team Seas, although this depends on if everything this year goes smoothly. Next year in 2025, Mr. Beast's Hi Me in 10 Years video will be published, which traces back to a 17-year-old Jimmy filming instead of studying for a history test. I wonder if you remembers what grade I'm gonna get on this history test that I'm not studying for. Spoiler alert, he got a 70. In 2027, Mr. Beast will have filmed a video in space. He originally planned for a space video for 2023, but clearly that hasn't happened yet. According to a Reddit user, I suspect 2025 is the absolute earliest we could see Dear Moon, referring to a spaceship. I hate to say it, but I feel like 2027 might be more likely at this point. Whenever Jimmy's plan for space finally works out, I'm sure it will be a video that will go down in the history books. The following year in 2028 is around the time where Mr. Beast will have sold his chocolate company Feastables for billions of dollars. If successful, his billionaire status will be official, although he intends to pour the money all back into his channel. So we might be seeing videos with 10 times the budget of what he spends today. By 2031, Mr. Beast will have hit 1 billion subscribers on YouTube. It's debated whether this accomplishment is even possible, as even the website Social Blade doesn't have it listed. But if we extend the pattern, I expect him to hit this number in 2031, which will be a historic moment for internet history. So far, Jimmy's YouTube career will have been an unprecedented one, but by 2032, his spot as the king of YouTube might be over, saying that I want to be number one and I want to be number one for the next 10 years. What happens in five or in 10 years? Uh, I mean, you can't be on top forever. Even then, he still thinks his businesses will be thriving, so he's not too worried. For the rest of the 2030s decade, I couldn't find any information about his plans. I assume he'll still be grinding out YouTube videos and building companies, but while it's hard to imagine, he is always one controversy away from fading into obscurity. Assuming things go right though, 2040 will be the year when Mr. Beast announces his candidacy for President of the United States. He stated he will run for president in his 40s and by this point, he will be 42. But will he actually win? As I discussed in a previous video, everyone right now over the age of 2 will be old enough to vote. So basically, millions of kids who grew up with Jimmy will want to see him achieve the highest office in the land, throw in his interesting campaign ideas like giving away his entire fortune to show he can be trusted. If elected, he will be the first YouTuber to head an entire country. In 2044, Jimmy will be up for re-election. People will be skeptical of a YouTuber who used to make fun of kids' intros, so his performance as president is crucial. If the people decide President Beast ultimately helped make their lives better, he will have won a second term. After a historic presidency, by January 2049, Jimmy will be out of office. He's now a middle-aged man who has done the unthinkable many times over. Being in the White House would have allowed him to help people as much as possible, but can he outdo even the presidency? In 2050 and beyond, Jimmy will have committed to philanthropy during his later years, tackling ginormous issues like world hunger. It costs $267 billion per year to achieve this, and realistically, it's not a one-person effort. But with luck, influence, and the help of other billionaires, maybe he can make some kind of difference in the world. Who would have thought? More food. <laughs>